Imagine this, you buy someone a lovely gift and you take time to wrap it beautifully. And then when you give it to them, they throw it back in your face. It's not very nice, is it? It makes you think, well, next time I won't bother. This is how it can feel when you try to give someone a compliment, some generous words about an accomplishment, an attitude, a piece of work, and they say, oh, it was nothing, or really, oh, I thought I botched it, or you did all the work, or they go into some long-winded, highly detailed explanation of all the difficulties they had to go through, whilst our genuine smile fixes into a rictus. Or it's how it can feel when you say the same things to someone who is trying to compliment you. Many of us are dreadful at taking compliments, especially the British. We bluster, we self-deprecate, and we genuinely hate receiving praise, or we at least think that we should pretend to, otherwise we look arrogant. So we run out our stock phrases to bat away the awkwardness and the embarrassment. But by doing that, we do a great disservice to the giver. We insult them. By dissing their gift, we can be seen to be questioning their intelligence or their opinion. We sound insincere, lacking in self-esteem, or even worse, sound like we're trying to get further compliments. Oh, oh, I thought I did a terrible job. No, no, it was great, honestly. You know those conversations. The thing is, no one needs to give you a compliment. It is a gift from them to you. And what do you do when someone gives you a gift? You smile and say, thank you. A neutral, polite, non-arrogant, non-self-effacing, gracious, thank you. You don't have to struggle with what to say and the giver goes away happy. It's win-win all round. And as you learn to accept compliments with good grace, you may even grow to accept your skills and virtues 